When you first start using crutches, one of the scariest things is when you have to go up and down a flight of stairs. If you're standing at the top of those stairs looking down, you might as well be looking over a cliff. It's intimidating because when you have an injury, the last thing you want to do is take a tumble down the stairs. My name is Rob Drenning. I'm a physical therapist. I'm going to show you right now how to use crutches on steps and do it safely and comfortably so you can get everywhere you need to go in your house and not be afraid to go up and down a curb when you're out in the community. So what we have, I have my step here and I have two crutches. We did another video on how to use crutches and how to size them to you. It's really important on steps and curbs that your crutches fit you appropriately. So watch that first and learn how to set them up for you. But let's say you're on two crutches. That's our first scenario. Now I have my sock off here because my bare foot, that's gonna be, we'll pretend like that's my injured foot. I took the sock off just so it'd be easier for you to see in this video. So what we wanna do, let's say we're going up a curb with no railings. If there's a railing on one side of a step, you can just hold your crutches, use the railing and do it that way. But it's better to learn how to use the crutches appropriately. So you take your crutches and you hold them in the opposite hand of your injured foot. Now the saying on stairs goes, up with the good, down with the bad. The good go up, the good go to heaven, the bad go down, bad go to hell. That's how you remember it. Up with the good, down with the bad. And what that means is when you're going up a step, your good foot is going to go up first. Okay? So I'm going to support my weight, as much weight as you can put here, and as much weight as you need to on your crutches. And I just have both crutches in one hand. And I'm going to go up with my good leg and step up. And then my foot and the crutches come up together at the same time. Just like that. Now, let's say you have smaller hands and you can't hold them both in one hand. I have a lot of people who will just kind of hook one underneath their arm like that and use one crutch on the opposite side of your injured leg. And then you just go up with the good just like that. So your other one's just coming along for the ride here. And then you're, uh, you're just using one crutch to support yourself. Now, if you have a railing on this side, I want to make sure you don't make this mistake. If you have a railing, you want to keep the crutches with your bad foot. You can use the railing and the crutch and get your good foot up and then up like that. Do not use the railing, bring your good foot up and then the crutches. It's gonna pull vault you back down the stairs. Always keep the crutches wherever your bad foot is, okay? So you go up with the good foot, just like that. Okay, if you can hold them both in one hand, do it that way, keep them on the opposite side. If you need to use one, just carry the other. Um, and if you are in your home, you can even get multiple sets for upstairs, downstairs, and use them that way. So that's how you go up. But how do you get back down? It's a similar thing. We just talked about the, the moniker there, down with the bad. This is where it gets a little confusing to people. Because you think going down with the bad foot means that's going to do most of the work. But when I reach down with the bad foot, my crutches come down at the exact same time. And notice what leg is doing all the work to squat me down like that. It's all on my good leg. Then all I got to do is put the bad foot down with the crutches, take as much weight as I need through the crutch, and bring the other foot down. That's why you go down with the bad leg first. If I were to step down with my good leg first, my injured leg would have to do all the work, and that wouldn't feel good. My crutch would be there. I couldn't get my leg down. You'll know because it just won't work out. Down with the bad allows the good leg to do all the work, and then you just go slowly one step at a time. Same thing if you're using one crutch, you can carry that one on your forearm. That'll free up a hand to use a railing if you need to, and just hold one crutch and go down like that. Okay, up with the good, down with the bad. And that's it, that's how you do it. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it's no problem at all. So let me know how it works for you. If you feel safe, if you feel comfortable, and make sure you check out that other video to learn how to walk and how to size those crutches just for you.